Rolf made it. But so did Kratos. That's fine. As long as Rolf made it, I'm pretty happy. So, not very great. Not very great turn of events here. I actually got the worst combination for myself. So that's fine. I made up for it. I'm just going to drop the bow. I'm not good with a bow. Alright, here we go. Vulnerable archer here. Oh my god, I'm bad. It took me three hits and I didn't even kill him. kidding me? I did so much damage. You better not eliminate me. Ah, oh, Okay. Another 50 bucks down the drain. Kratos, you son of a bitch! No, it's fine. It's fine. You know what? He, he deserves it. He's probably been training hard. Dick. It's not even why I'm here. It's not even why I'm here. I'm not here to, you know... We'll have our pay. Oh, we'll have shit. Our fun. Uh, I'll pay for free passage. Yeah, 99 bucks. You got it. I don't know how many there are. 17? Yeah, they probably would have won. Just based on past events. I probably didn't have that one in the bag. There's so many Tundra Bandits. Here. Will this scare you guys off? It will not. They're not deterred. Okay, Oh my god, there's so many. I'm gonna need at least like 30 men with me at all times. Oh, Remald Noyan has renounced his allegiance to the Kingdom of Nords and joined the Karagats. Drama. Alright, time to find this town's guild master. That was very easy. Here he is. Uh, your lord doesn't hate me, right? Okay, cool. How much would it be to open, let's say, a mill? The profit would be a nice 372 and I would need $1,500. What about like something a bit more fancy, like uh, a dye works? Oh, that's a nice profit. I need 10,000 bucks, though. I think I'm going to start with a mill. Uh, that's doable. I need 1,500 bucks for that. Uh, so actually, Guildmaster, do you have a job? Uh, yeah, I can take I can take uh, some cattle to tier. That's no problem. All right. Um, tier. Right. Go ahead and drive these cattle onward. Come on, boys. We're going to tier. Tier. I don't know how to pronounce it. Who cares? Make sure the cattle's still actually following me. See, they keep lagging behind, then I'm like, what if they get stolen? What if there's like some cattle rustlers out there in this forsaken land? Then I'm like, who actually has ever stolen cattle? I don't think I've ever seen it happen once in the game. Did someone steal my cattle? Oh my god, I think someone actually stole my cattle. Oh no, I just got too far away from them. They were like, we don't know where to go anymore. Well, I'll tell you where to go. It's this way. Look, we made it. Okay, cool. Uh, we have enough fish to last us. I was going to stop for food, but I think we're good to go back to Kudan. And go ahead and collect that reward. Wow. 
so many international affairs going on and I really couldn't care less. I'm just out here to make some coin. Okay, Guildmaster. Yeah, I delivered the cattle. You're welcome. Uh, actually, any more jobs? Deliver some ale. You have a cargo of ale. These to be delivered to a tavern in Ravidin. That's 80 dinars. That's not a lot of dinars. But you know what? I'll do it. Just to make the uh, Kudan people like me more. Right. You know, like, why not? And it's a quick 80 bucks. Ravidin's only a hop, skip, and a jump away. Do I actually give it to the tavern guy? Yeah. Boom. Okay. Back to Kudan, where we're uh, becoming the best person in town. Look at that. The populace, acceptive to me. Seven relations. Uh, honest folk have abandoned the streets. Not me, though. And not the guildmaster. Do you have a job? Oh, a little bandit ransom thing? Okay. Yeah, I'll take the money to the bandits. Sure, why not? Uh, okay, what town were they at, actually? I kind of skipped through all of your dialogue. Near Chalez. Where's Chalez again? Oh my god. Why is it so far? They really dragged... <laughs> they really dragged your daughter across the country, huh? Okay, that's fine. Fine by me. I've actually... I'm actually able to get a new trade skill. Look at that. I'm going to be making so much money now. Okay. Um, these guys are serious business. So I'm actually going to just pay them. Because I don't want to lose all my men. There's like no way I'm letting that happen. I'm, I'm not letting that fight happen. <laughs> there might have been a chance I could beat them. But it was a very slim chance. Alright, here we go. We've made it to Chalez. I see the bandits. There's, they're bandits, but if I remember in that village with the bandits, the bandits were on horseback. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is get some tribesmen. And now that I have 29 people, I th think I might be able to like maybe take these people is it worth the risk though because if I fight them and lose then the girl dies and I go back and I fail the quest and then all my hard work in Kudan has been for nothing and it's gonna be a close fight so I'm thinking I just what would mr. Krabs do right we're going to have to play this in character, and I think Mr. Krabs would try to get the most money possible by keeping their ransom money and just telling them to release the girl. But I think he would also play it safe. So I'm going to go recruit just a few more dudes to even the odds as much as possible. How much money do I have? I have enough. I can get some fancy people from a tavern. Let's see what this... Look at this. These guys would definitely even the odds. It's going to take all my money, but they're going to be definitely worth it. 
How many did I get? Six of them. All right. That should be all I need. I have a solid 40 men with me. And here we go. Let's confront these bandits. Now, I'm pretty sure they are going to be on horseback. So I'm going to have a tight little infantry formation going on. Uh, on this sad excuse of a hill. Yep, here they come. Uh, tighten up if you can, guys. A lot of these recruits are just going to be wiped out. I have a feeling. I'm going to wait for the initial charge to break. And then... minimal losses. I was expecting a bit more. Uh, sadly, my boy Rolf was wounded, and we did lose a vagrant recruit, but we managed to get the girl and the ransom money. That's all I ever wanted. Okay, cool. Um, Nordic Shield, is that better than mine? Eh. It's okay. Um, yeah, really nothing for me, but I'm thinking there might be a little something for Rolf. We'll see if he we'll see if he grabbed anything. I'll grab a few things to sell. Let's see if Rolf has a new look. He does not. No, he doesn't. I thought he had a new shield for a second, but he already had a pretty decent shield. Let's get a few more of each. Um, I'm just going to stick with infantry for now um, until I can afford a bunch of cavalry. Kidnapped Girl has an upgrade available, and I want to, but you know the game just doesn't want to let me. For the ro for the Rodox, I'm going to go like, I want more crossbowmen than spearmen. Their spearmen are alright, but their crossbowmen are pretty great. The Vagirs, cool. Finally, have some archers coming in. Everything's going pretty much as I planned. Uh, we need to upgrade our own combat skills. I've noticed recently that they're kind of lacking. So I think first, you know, we'll do that, and then weapon master. Try to get ourselves like a lot better with everything. Okay, cool. And then we go back to Kudan, and we should be good to turn in this quest. Oh no. How, why, I mean like why, you know? Why would the Rodox declare war against the Vagars? The Vagars are over here. 
Roadhogs are over here. They have to go across an entire country just to declare war on them. And like... Oh. Oh. I didn't even notice they already had Yalen. Okay. No, now it makes sense. They're not fighting across. They're fighting in this area. Okay. Anyway. On to Gudan. No problem, babe. Um, you know, call me and stuff. Alright. Uh, meet the guildmaster. He's gonna be like, oh, Thank you so much. Please take this money. Little does he know. I actually kept the other money as well. So now we have... Uh, okay, actually, I see what happened. After buying those Y-handers, um, I have about as much money as I started with. Which is fine, because now I have some cool troops. I can do a bit more uh, in the long run. And, check this out. They're very acceptive to me now. So we're going to meet with the Guildmaster again and see if he has another job. Oh, some looters. Yeah, I could deal with some looters. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If not, don't worry, it won't hurt my feelings. I'm just doing this for fun. But it would be pretty cool if you did.